Hi everyone, it's Coach Rain. Today we are gonna combine two of my favorite things, TRX with a core strength workout. So we are going to have our feet in the straps today. We'll walk through, um, I think it's 10 exercises or so. And I'm gonna show you just a sample of each of these. You should do as many sets or reps as your workout prescribes for you today. And just as a guidance, if you do um, eight reps and then you're looking at doing holds, I do 20 seconds for eight reps. And then if you're going to 10 reps, I go to 25 seconds and uh, 12 reps go to 30 seconds. That's my general guidance. Um, when you do things time or rep based, they're never exactly the same, but that's just the general guidance I use. So let's start down. We're gonna start down with a center plank. So first of all, putting your feet in the straps. There's a few different ways, but the way I learned first is I put my right foot in the left strap, and then I cross over and put my left foot in the other strap, and then flip over. The straps are about a foot off the ground. They're basically the same height so that when you're up on your elbows or your hands that your um, upper body and your feet are roughly lined up in the same place. So get yourself started, and we are gonna start with just a regular center plank on the TRX. I put my hips up a little higher because I want to really be careful to protect my back. So I'm in a very, very slight pike position. We're just going to hold the plank right here. I'm going to hold for 20 seconds. Um, so we'll go five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, going over to the side plank. So just turning yourself to the side. Side plank on TRX, keep the handles the same height as each other. And you're gonna come in and go to the side. Your feet are, might start moving around the, at the beginning, so you have to work to stabilize your position. Holding it about 20 seconds here. Let's go for five, four, three, two and one. Okay, turn it over to the other side. Turn yourself up. Nice and tall, 20 seconds here. Two and one. Okay, going back into the plank position. This time we're gonna add a rocking back and forth. So this is the soft horse plank. So come up into that forearm plank position. We're gonna rock forward and back. This definitely adds another level of challenge to the plank. And we'll do four more. three, two, and one. Okay, let's take it over to the side. Do a side plank with hip drops. So starting out into the side plank position. Get yourself tall, arm up right your side, but nice and open. And now dropping your hips down and bringing them up. it to the other side. Let's bring it back. Next one. We're going to do your hands. We're going to be in the hand plank position. So first one is mountain climbers. So coming up into a hand plank here. You're going to keep your hips up a little bit higher. Make sure there's no pressure on your lower back. And for each knee. Alternate. 
inconvenience. the mountain climbers. Okay, next one, knee and crunches. So with these, you're bringing your knees to your chest, but now keeping both feet together. So come up in the plank position and bring your knees in together. Four to go. Two. Next one, we're going to do side to side knee and crunches. So this time, instead of coming straight through to the center, you're going to go side to side, both knees together. So we'll start here, out. one in the series is going to be the pikes. So same starting position and I, as you push down on your feet you're going to push your hips up into the air. So it's a pike to plank and uh, but now with your feet in the stretch. So heels down, lift them up. Get your hips up as high as you can. Four to go. Three, two, and last one. All right. That's one heck of a workout, huh? All right. So, like I said today, I just did one set of eight around 20 seconds. Do as many sets and reps as you've got on your schedule for today. And that is a wrap. Thank you for joining me here on the floor with my, uh, with my TRX straps. And we will catch you next time. Bye for now, Coach Reen.